What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Jig's Host. Today's video is going to be on cPanel and their new pricing structure. Not a lot of hosts are happy about that, including myself. Um, it's a big blow to the industry. It came as a surprise. Uh, even though cPanel backtracked a little bit and changed their, softened their pricing structure, it's still, it's a, it's a pretty large blow. Um, what I think is gonna happen because of their new pricing, some of the smaller control panels that are designed for the web hosting industry, they're going to start being used more often. Um, they might even gain traction in the industry. So I don't know if cPanel is aware of that. They're not the only players out there. In my opinion, they're one of the best panels, they're one of the most refined panels, probably one of the most secure panels, but their pricing may be a bit prohibited for the smaller hosts. And also will probably make a lot of the hosts try new panels that are giving basically similar pricing structures as what cPanel used to be. You buy a license on a server, it's unlimited. Um, whether you have one account or a thousand accounts, it's the same price. Now cPanel wants to charge per account after a certain amount of counts. It's, I believe it's a hundred. Beyond that, it's 10 or 20 cents per account thereafter for the web host to pay, um, which is, in my opinion, not so good. Anyhow, um, I know the sentiment out there from what I've been reading online is not very good, but like with everything, evolution always takes place and what can happen if uh, it does become too price prohibitive, a lot of these smaller panels will have their day in the light, as they say. Um, I myself may try a panel on a server and see how it goes. I want to test it out. I want to see its usability, its security, and whatnot before I make it, uh, you know, mainstream for any paying client to use. Certainly don't want to test it on them or you guys, but I do have interest. For now, I know Jigs Host is not going to be raising their prices for anyone. Um, so far we could absorb it, but uh, we'll see how things go on that front. Other than that, that's huge news in the hosting industry. Uh, do comment down below. I'm interested to see on what you guys think. Uh, I know I haven't made a video in a while and I do apologize for that. I'm going to start churning out videos again, at least two or three a week. Um, our subscriber count has been going up and I do appreciate that and I thank you even though I've fallen short on my end and making videos. Also, uh, I want to ask you guys uh, to give me ideas on what you want the next videos to be. Um, I know I have a lot of videos out there in web hosting. You can only do so much in web hosting so I'm going to need your help to basically give me ideas and asking. I can only do so many videos on how to start a web hosting business, how to deal with difficult clients and whatnot. So I've reached a point where you guys can come in and interact, post down below, and let me know what other videos you would like to see. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, also do point those down below, post them down below. I reply to everyone. And um, aside from that, cPanel hiking their price, um, it's not good news for anybody. Uh, nobody likes it. They have their reasons to do it. I know the web hosting panel, WHM, web hosting management console, uh, WHMCS, they went ahead and raised their price. No one liked it, but it is what it is. They're kind of the leaders in their own little corners of the market, so I guess they have some clout when it comes to that. On the other side of the plateau, it gives the smaller developers of panels or billing systems an opportunity to 
for people to try them out because when the price does go too high a lot of people will start to migrate and gravitate towards other smaller panels that don't charge that other than that that concludes this video um, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day thanks bye bye